In your news now, Emmanuel Jesus Granados, who pleaded guilty to murder in the second degree for killing 22-year-old Fermin Lemus, was sentenced to 20 years in prison without parole. Eyewitness News reporter Tadeve Kaprikian was in the courtroom today. She explains what happened inside. 24-year-old Emmanuel Jesus Granados walked into a full courtroom in Jefferson County this afternoon to hear his sentence. Visibly emotional and wiping away tears throughout the proceeding, Granados told the judge he shot Lemus because he feared for his own life. I'm just Today, he said he has found God and is focused on changing his life for the better. I just ask God to bring you, make you, change, be a better person. State prosecutor Paul Zeal said the Lemus family had a statement to share about the impact of Granados' actions on their life. Angelica Lemus, Fermin's sister, came to the microphone. Emotionally distraught, she was unable to read the statement she wrote and asked Zeal to do so. I hope that one day you truly regret that you killed my brother. You took away his right to being a father. He's never going to see her grow up or give her hugs and kisses, and most of all, to give her all of his love. Zeal added Angelica Lemus had said both her brother and Granados were good kids who got into the wrong crowd. Lemus's autopsy showed he had drugs in his system the night he was shot. Lemus also had a criminal record. Zeal argued, unlike Granados, Lemus will never have the chance to become a better person. He was 22 years old, and this was a person that had his chance to evolve and become better uh, taken away from him prematurely. Judge Muller called the crime, quote, senseless, a savage, monstrous act so disturbing on so many levels. He told Granados he has two options, to spend the next 20 years in prison finishing his education and focusing on rehabilitation, or not using his time wisely and possibly spending the rest of his life in a prison cell. In Rigby, I'm Tadeveka Prekyan. In addition to his sentence, Granados will have to also pay a $50,000 fine and a $5,000 civil penalty, which will go directly to Lemus's daughter.